Yeah, hi. Uh, so basically you are saying that uh, you are depending on the decision of the miners, on the Chinese pools. That's what you are saying. It's not our decision, it's the decision of the miners. No. There are five consensus communities in Bitcoin. There's developers, there's miners, there's exchanges, there's merchant processing, and there's wallets. And they go together. Because if you're a miner and you're mining on a chain that doesn't have the support of the wallets, the exchanges, and the merchants, then you're mining coin that you cannot sell, use, or exchange for anything. And then you're on the wrong side. You can get the longest chain, and if the economic consensus is on the other side, you're wasting your time. And of course, the miners know this, so they're not going to make any move until they believe that the economic side is with them. And they know for sure that this is the way that is going to be the most successful way forward. They are very conservative in that decision, because they have millions of dollars invested. You have to realize something else. A lot of the miners today buy electricity on long-term contracts, six months to a year. Which means they have already paid for this. They have already got all of the hardware. And the only option they have now is to run and pay it off. They cannot turn off this hardware, so they will continue no matter what the difficulty, what the price, or which side of the fork they're on. They are not stopping to mine. Um, it's not just the miners making decisions. Uh, just one, just one uh, additional question. Uh, right now, no wallet is supporting SegWit, and I don't know if uh, is this going to be integrated in Bitcoin chain because Mike, I don't know if he's still working on on that. So I'm not sure if well, that's not entirely the pools. Uh, that's not entirely true. One wallet supports SegWit, and that's the um, core fork by Peter Woolley that runs SegNet, and that supports SegWit and works and is being tested now for more than four months, I believe. SegNet, the production level segregated witness test network, has been working and doing transactions for four months, with a wallet that obviously is producing SegWit transactions. But the standard is not finalized yet. And therefore, without a finalized standard, you can't go ahead as a wallet developer. I can guarantee you all of the developers are writing test code right now, all the serious ones, the ones that still want to be around, are, are trying to implement prototypes of, of SegNet uh, and SegWit. I'm writing a prototype SegWit implementation for my own uses and company, and uh, everybody is behind the scenes waiting to see what happens. But the uh, current roadmap is for somewhere between April and June for the deployment of SegWit into production. So have some patience.